so we're going to talk a little bit about cloud today. And the thing I want to stress the most about cloud technologies and IT service management in the cloud is that you already know how to do it. There's nothing unique, nothing new about how you manage services in the cloud. You're still managing services. The technology is different, but as IT professionals, we're going to be dealing with different technology every year. What's beautiful about the ITIL framework is that by being prescript, uh, descriptive, not prescriptive, we have a framework we can use and adjust as the technologies change. So what we're really here to talk about today is how it's always been there all along, how businesses can leverage the cloud for success, and how do we marry the two together? How do we keep it all working well together? Where does the decision get made to go to the cloud? Why do we decide to go to the cloud? Why does cloud give us a competitive advantage and how do we be sure that the cloud state keeps us staying competitive? That as David was talking about this morning, that we or, uh, go out to the cloud and all of a sudden everything falls apart is not a good thing. So we want to make sure we have our IT service management practices doing what they need to do for the business, whatever the technology is. So everything we say here today about cloud really applies to any emerging technology. So we talk about a few things in service management. If you remember back to service operations, if you've completed that course, in service operations we talk about finding a balance between stability and agility. How do we keep things changing? How do we introduce new technologies without our existing technologies falling apart, without destabilizing our services? That's the paradigm we've lived in for the last 20 years, really, as we've been developing IT service management practices. Now, cloud brings us a new one. We want a new experience for our customers, but all the old service paradigms exist. We still have to balance innovation versus risk. We still have to deal with now shared infrastructure versus private infrastructure. And we have to deal with agility versus control. We're used to keeping things stable by having control over them. When we start going into a cloud environment, we lose control if we're in the public cloud. So I'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. Additionally, as I said in the introduction, we have to know where to make that decision. We're not going to the cloud for cloud's sake. You know, it's the, the latest, greatest technology but moving to the cloud is not so we could take advantage of the latest, greatest technology. We're making that decision because we have services whose business requirements demand 24-7 operations, demand access from anywhere. Then we might have services that might be deployed better in the cloud environment than in our traditional data center environment. So we need to look at the business requirements for our services and make a decision based on those requirements to leverage the latest technology. No different than anywhere else. So we, we will talk a little bit more about that. By going, having cloud technology available to us, we have the ability to make a strategic decision to pro provision our services in the cloud when it makes sense to do so. And that gives our business the competitive edge because it shows that we're able as an IT organization we're able to use the latest technology that's available while giving the business a service that sets them in front of their competition. So that's what we want to be thinking about. What's available in cloud technology that if we applied it to our business needs could give our business the competitive edge in their industry? And that's when we want to go to the cloud. And then finally, what you're going to start to see is a new generation of computer users. How many of you have uh, children? They're on the internet all day, right? They use the best technology that's out there. My daughter ha tells me things I didn't know existed about how to use the internet, how to use computer. She fixed a hard drive in her, in her uh, laptop. She went to Google and she typed in, how do I change a hard drive in a Dell computer? 
she got a video on how to change that hard drive and she's like, mom, look, it's right here. She stores her documents in the cloud on Dropbox. So when her, when her hard drive did die, her documents were up in the cloud as well as on her hard drive. What's gonna happen when this generation gets out of college? They're gonna be demanding everything the internet has. In our world of IT and security, we lock that down. The business customer is no longer going to accept that in a few years. So now is the time to start looking at how do we use these technologies and secure them appropriately. Instead of sh shutting off access to these technologies, how do we provide it but secure our data as well? So these are some of the new paradigms we deal with in this new century. So I want to do, what we're going to start with today really is a little bit about business use of the cloud. Um, I don't know here in Spain, is Salesforce a big application? Yeah, no? A couple people are nodding their heads. Yeah, in, in the US, Salesforce.com has taken over the marketing world. Most IT organizations don't even know their companies are using it. They're finding out that their company is using it when they get a call saying, you know, you've got 5,000 users, we could save you money by consolidating your licenses. And they say, but we're not using the product. Oh, yes, you are. You have 5,000 licenses. So what we're going to see when this younger generation comes out, and it's already starting, is if we don't make the technology available and someone is able to go buy it without involving IT, more and more the services being used by the business will be purchased by the business directly without involving IT. So we need to really understand what it is our business needs. And if we need Salesforce.com, IT should be bringing it to the business, saying this is a great new application. We've heard a lot about this. It's very easy, very fast to implement. Are you interested in learning more about it? Instead of waiting to find out that the business went without us, and now we have to figure out how are we supporting it. So that's one little case study about the cloud. We have a couple more for you. Oh. 